English has a lot of words that can be either a noun or a verb. There are some in this lesson. The spelling is the same. The pronunciation is the same. So the only way to tell if it is a noun or a verb is by where it is in the sentence. Let's review. What's a noun? Good. A noun is a person, place, or thing. A garden is a noun. And what's a verb? Yes, a verb is an action. To have and to be are also verbs, but in this lesson we are working on action verbs. To garden is an action verb. Here is an example of a sentence that uses garden as both a noun and a verb. I have a big garden because I love to garden. Where is the noun? Good, right here. A big garden. And where's the verb? Yes, at the end. To garden. Let's try one more. Name. Can you name the name of this tree? Which is the noun? Good. Here, the name. And the verb? That's right, this one. Now, I'm going to write some more sentences on the board using the same words, but this time I'm going to use the words only once in each sentence. We don't use the same word as a noun and a verb in the same sentence very often. These sentences are more common. When I read the sentence, you tell me if the underlined word is a noun or a verb. This is my container garden. Is garden a noun or a verb? Good, it's a noun. I planted corn this year. Is planted a noun or a verb? Very good. It is a verb in the past tense. He will place the rose in the container. What about place? Excellent. Place is a verb since it is talking about an action. Here's my place. What about place in this sentence? Yes, it is a noun. How many plants do you want? What about plants? Very good. Plants is a noun. Last one. I was gardening when it started to rain. What about gardening? Very good. It is a verb. Now, let's do something different with some of these words. What happens when you add ER to the end? Let's see. A garden becomes a gardener, which means someone who gardens. A plant
becomes a planter, which means someone who plants. Many times when we add ER to a noun, the new word becomes someone who. For example, a gardener is someone who gardens. A planter is someone who plants. Now let's have some more fun with this. You may already know these words, but if not, guess. You will probably be right. Blank is someone who teaches. That's right, a teacher. What about this one? Blank is someone who farms. Excellent, a farmer. How about the next one? A singer is someone who blank. A few more. How about the next one? A baker is someone who blank. That's right, bakes. What about this one? A driver is someone who blank. Yes, drives. A driver is someone who drives. And what about the last one? Blank is someone who writes. That's it, a writer. A writer is someone who writes. Did you write down the words I put on the board today? If not, go back and watch this lesson again and copy them. It will help you remember the lesson and it's good spelling practice.